Welcome to the Airbus A320 demonstration. This is the table of contents sheet. The photo has hotspots and will take you anywhere in one click. There are links to all the sheets, schematics, diagrams, and synoptics. And we have differences. Clicking on the left overhead panel, along the left side are pop-ups that explain the associated systems Every light switch has a red triangle with a pop-up that explains why the light comes on and what the switch does. And there are links to all the associated synoptics, schematics, and diagrams. We want to zoom in and show you an example of how the information is presented in information mapping technical writing style. It uses color and is well laid out so you can easily understand your aircraft. We include differences of the panels. This is a lower overhead where the APU switches are located so we fully explain the APU system. Center overhead. Left side systems descriptions. Every light switch has a pop-up and all the links to all the schematics, diagrams, and synoptics. The right overhead and the glare shield. This is where the auto thrust button is so we have the entire auto thrust system explained and this is repeated at the pedestal where the thrust levers are located. Forward instrument panel GPWS warning light so we have all the GPWS modes linked down below. For every one of those blue links above that bring you down here, there is a top link that takes you back up. Primary flight display. Flight mode enunciator. Five columns in three rows. All the possibilities are explained. Eleven navigation displays. All the navigation symbology. Standby instruments. EFIS architecture. This is main landing gear panel where the brakes are located. So we fully explain all the different kinds of brakes. Pedestal. Here's the thrust levers. So we re-explain all the th auto thrust system. Engine switches and systems. Flap slats, speed brakes, spoilers, etc. Control heads for communication, navigation, TCAS, weather, predictive wind shear, reactive wind shear, Envelopes and, dis and differences. 13 electrical schematics. Situations easily understood in a simplified format. Flight controls. Here's all the main wing surfaces. And some airlines use this presentation stab and elevators and rudder. Fuel system fully explained and differences with the 321. Hydraulics and PTU logic, ram air turbine and the rat logic and wheels and brakes. Again everything is repeated. Seven different presentations, nose wheel steering, gear door operation, indications and warnings, normal yellow, and optional green. Six different avionics cooling configurations. A picture is worth a thousand words. This is pneumatics and air conditioning, safety pressurization, and cargo smoke and differences. 
This is your cruise presentation, three of those, and engines, and seven of these. We have 12 bleed engine APU situations presented, and eight bleed air conditioning. Cabin pressure, four of these. Many of these have ECAM actions associated with them. Pop-ups with all the symbology. Sixteen electrical schematics. Synoptic displays for 16 different situations. 12 hydraulics and ECAM actions. Fuel ECAMs. Systems explained, all the symbology, differences with the A321. APU ECAMs. Pop ups explaining the symbology. Air conditioning. Four situations displayed. Door and oxygen. And differences. wheels. All the brakes are explained again so you don't have to go find information. Flight controls. All the MCDU messages. All the acronyms. This is a conversion calculator, and on every sheet in the upper left-hand corner is a quick link back to the table of contents. At the beginning of the file, there's a welcome sheet with version information and a picture of an Excel window so you can see what you can do inside the Excel platform, and a sheet of keyboard instructions 